Hey y'all. Happy Friday. It's me, Twisted with T. And I'm T. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> I told y'all, you know, in my introduction and my welcome that we would, you know, I would talk about a variety of topics, you know, random stuff, candid stuff. So I just thought I would get on here today. <clears throat> I'm not really looking at the camera because I'm driving. But uh, I'm, I'm looking straight ahead most of the time. I thought I would get on here and just give y'all, you know, a little quick testimony um, of what's been going on with me the last, ooh, that was close, the last few months uh, kind of in my life. So my job had announced to us rather quickly, I don't know, probably about two months ago that our... Um, our department our particular department was sunsetting and basically I don't know if you've ever been through that or if you don't know what sunsetting is basically they was like Biff we doing away with y'all job so y'all might want to look for something else so you know it, it caused quite a, a, a concern uh, rightfully so, because it's right here at the holidays. You know, you got Thanksgiving, you got Christmas. It's the end of the year, and your job up until you surprise, you ain't got no job. So, you know, they they did say that they were gonna you know work with us to try to find other positions within the company. But still, you know, it's like it's a lot of people that this is affecting. So it's like, you know, you want to know what your odds are of getting of them finding a place for you. So, you know, I kind of been on an emotional roller coaster, not knowing if I was gonna have a job, you know, come that Christmas time. Um, you know, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna pay my bills? You know, you got all this stuff running through your mind, and at the same time, you know, you redoing your resumes, putting your resume out on different job sites, and really not getting a lot of a lot of good hits, you know, because obviously you don't want to take a pay cut but you don't want to be unemployed either so just all of this stuff is going on and long story short you know they posted some 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 targeted job postings and i probably applied for probably about six jobs and finally finally they had told us you know okay you all should be getting invitations uh offer letters by the end of the week which was this week so, we didn't got all the way through the week. Ain't nobody got no offer letters, email. So, Thursday evening, two people on my team found the offer letters. They weren't emailed like they said they were going to be emailed, but we found them on our job board. Well, they found them on their job board. So, I'm, you know, going on the job board and I'm looking and I ain't got nothing. Now, mind you, you trying to be happy for your co-workers, for your friends, but at the same time, it's like, damn, where my offer letter at? So, I, again, now, you know, again, it's like, damn, tomorrow, Friday, I, I don't work on Fridays, so if I don't get anything, I'm not even going to know anything till Monday, and I'm like, I ain't going to survive till Monday, because that's, it's just, that's, you know, I was going to be a wreck all, pretty much all weekend. So, I'm just like, damn, trying to be happy, trying to be upbeat, trying to be positive. But I'm like, damn, I didn't get nothing in my inbox. So, what that mean? You know. So, of course, ninth hour, basically, you know, my one, my other co-worker that didn't get an offer either, she went back and refreshed her screen and went in and it was there. She's like, oh, I got one. She said, go back and check your email or your, you know, job board. So... I go back in, check my job board, and sure enough, there's the, the offer letter. Child, you talking about somebody wanted to just break out and do a praise dance right there in the middle of the floor, but I didn't, but I wanted to. I, it was just such, I don't, I'm sure there's people out there that's been in the same situation, but the relief to know that I'm going from semi-unemployed to, okay, they I got a job, uh, you know, I'm, I'm back on track again, I'm, you know, I, I'm in there, I ain't got to lose none of my benefits, you know, everything is everything, so just that relief 
just that stress up off of me was just it was like a ton of bricks had been lifted off my chest so we hugging and damn near crying and had you know everybody just it was a relief because you know most of us have kids we got mortgages we got rent we got car notes we got all of this stuff and it's like you know pr trying to process that each and every day and then week after week and not really knowing what's going on and finally for them to come through and say okay we we got jobs for y'all and it's like okay thank god now i imagine that there are some people out here listening that probably don't believe in god i, I know you know atheists uh, non-believers you know people come from different religious backgrounds and that's fine I don't knock anybody for what they believe in or don't believe in just don't try to deter me or distract me or convince me that what I believe in is wrong so again I don't know who believe in what but when I tell you God answers prayers and he knows your heart and he comes not when we want him but on his own time when i tell you god is is real and he is good and he is merciful and he is grateful and he is every positive thing that you can think of he is that and i just whoo y'all just don't understand i mean you know you try to you know look at everything through you know in, in a positive light but sometimes even the best Christians <clears throat> you know we're still flesh so their flesh part of you even though they say oh you know Christians are supposed to have faith they supposed to do this they supposed to do that still the the human fleshy part of you is doubtful and it's like that you know damn why me and why I'm going through this and why 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 you know that that's the human nature in us to have those doubts and fears so I just to anybody you know out there that is going through something similar um, my advice is just to hang in there and hold on and don't lose the faith and I, I'm telling you, I, man, it's, it's, it was such a relief. I, I don't know what to do. So I was like, well, let me not keep this. Oh, back up. I forgot. Not only, not only did I almost lost part of the testimony. Not only did they say, here you go. You know, we found another position for you. But further down in the offer letter it says you know because this is a different pay grade you qualify for a promotion so we're gonna give you an extra seven percent on top of what you make so not only do you did, did I go from semi unemployed doubting and hope and hopeless and, and feeling in despair but God said not only are you gonna keep your job but I'm gonna give you increase on top of that now how about that so you tell me it, it, it wasn't because I'm such a good person or I'm such a nice person or whatever that that happened to me so I wholeheartedly know that that wasn't no, nobody but God nobody so or nothing it, it, it wasn't me so I, you know I said all that to say you know that was part of my testimony I said all that to say you know a way maker when they say he's a way maker I ain't just telling you what somebody told me I'm telling you that this is just one example of his grace so you know if anybody out there is listening uh, needed to hear an encouraging uplifting word I just wanted to hand that to you I couldn't keep that you know to myself I couldn't keep that testimony in so I just, you know, thank you all for tuning in, for listening um, to my testimony. You know, if, if you have one similar or you're going through something, you know, you can certainly, you know, um, leave a comment. You know, I'll certainly comment back to you, you know, if it helped you, if whatever. Um, but 
that is all right now. Uh, I am driving uh, right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and shut it down for a few minutes. So I'll try to hit uh, get back into contact with y'all. Uh, maybe sometime this weekend if something crazy or exciting happens. But um, if you like my page, please do go and subscribe, share it with somebody else, share this testimony with somebody that may need to just hear an uplifting, encouraging word today. Um, like, share, subscribe, do all of that. Um, and I thank you for listening to my little rant, my little praise break. Because I, I couldn't sit on it. You know, it was just, you know, like a, you know, when you shake a champagne bottle up with the cork on and you release the, I had to release the, release the pressure. So, thank you all again for taking a moment to listen to Twisted with Tea. You all have a great weekend. Have a blessed weekend. And I'll talk to you soon.